preview. These nationally acclaimed exotic birds have appeared on such shows as The Tonight Show, Late Night with David Letterman, Good Morning America, and most recently CBS This Morning. And now, let's have a warm welcome for our host, the only performer in this show who doesn't work for bird scene, Mr. Donnie Garland and his beautiful friend, Martha. having a good time? Okay, that's really important because our birds love to hear a lot of noise. The more you applaud, the better they perform. Now, before we get started, I'll tell you a little bit about our birds. All of our birds are members of the Citizen family. That means they can live to be about 100 years old if they're properly taken care of. Right, Martha? All right. This is Martha. She's 26 years old. She's a Gallerita, greater sulfur crested. Cockatoo. What kind of bird? Cockatoo. You're a cockatoo. Cockatoo. She's a cockatoo. Cockatoo. Oh, hello. 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 There you go. Whisper hello for you. <laughs> now, Martha's not only beautiful, but she's also my sweetheart. How do you feel about me? <laughs> yeah, I love you too, sweetie. Now, Martha likes to start off her show with some physical activities to keep her body in tip-top physical shape. She likes to do sit-ups in the morning. Right, kid? No way. How about if I say please? Please, okay, okay. Here she goes. One, two, three, four, five. On the other side, Martha, there's six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten big bird sit-ups just for you. Now, another way Martha stays in shape is by taking a ride around our beautiful park on her customized chrome-plated speedster. And she's Martha is a very cautious rider. She rides over to the local ice skating rink where she practices for her Winter Olympic event, Ice Skating in 1992 Winter Olympics. Guess who we have, the beautiful and graceful Martha. Attempting a lovely half turn at the point of the ice. Some of you may remember Martha fell in the Winter Nationals while attempting a lovely and dangerous full turn. Oh, there she falls again. Martha, can she do the full turn? Here it is. Beautifully executed. Why, White View Bush Garden, for our very own Peggy Flamingo. Now, Martha thinks bicycle riding and ice skating is okay, but sometimes she likes to do something a little different, something a little daring. She likes to ride her unicycle on the high wire. Gentlemen, she's burning up that wire as she burns off this unwanted calories. Here's the finish line down here, and here comes the big race. Oh, right off the table. Come here, kid. You okay? Let's try that again. She still finds time to take care of us here at the Bird Show. She goes down to the farmer's market where they have extra low prices. We also have her very own bird size shopping cart. Now, I wonder what Martha's going to pick out today. Martha's a smart shopper. She carries coupons. What's it going to be, Martha? Ooh, some grape juice, my personal favorite. Some perfume for her big day tonight. Some milk, because milk does the body good. Made coffee cream, some Minute made orange juice, one more item, what's it gonna be? Some applesauce, oops, she forgot something. Ah, uh, tomato sauce. Some spaghetti noodles, there she goes. Hey kids, you for everybody else. Come on down here. She's gotta sell on items. Here you go, Martha, come on down here. There you go. Hope you have more than 10 items, now you have to stand at regular checkout. A big hand for the smart shopper. Now it's time for Martha's big date. She loves to dance. Hit it, Martha. Hit it, Maestro. She's the original dirty dancer. She does the twist. How about a hop, skip, and a jump? Hop, hop, hop. And a twist to the right. What about your haircut, Martha?
Okay, now we got our stars back. Go ahead and introduce you to Bridget. This is Bridget. She also is a cockatoo, a native of Australia. There's a big hand for her. And this is Martha. That's her show. A big hand for Martha. Okay, Sue. Yeah. Pop on up here. Bridget, there you go. And take a big bow, Martha. Thank you, thank you. Okay, hop on in there, kid. Now let's see if you can guess which bird is next in the show. The big red guy. He's the bad boy of the bird show, the Bart Simpson, if you will. He's a 19-year-old green-winged macaw, a native of Mexico. He likes to introduce himself. He's kind of stuck on himself. He's the class clown. Always have to keep an eye on this guy. Hey, buddy, can you say hello? Hello, Thomas. What's your name? Harold. <laughs> Guys, like he's from Jersey, doesn't it? Harold. <laughs> now, Harold, like all the birds in the show, loves to do impressions. His first impression is pretty scary. It's a killer guard dog. Hey, pal, how about barking like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> pretty scary guard dog, right? Actually, Harold's a big sweetheart, big kiss on the nose, or a big hug and a big kiss. Okay, thanks. Now, Harold has proved he's the best bird in the show by doing the same tricks Martha does. Since you've already seen the bicycle trick, I'm only glad Harold ride halfway down the table. Save some time for us. Here you go, pal. Why don't you hop on up here and ride halfway? Hey, Harold, what are you, what are you doing, buddy? Okay, pretty funny here. Hey, Harold, look out. You're going to go off the cliff. Look out. Woo! Well trained and a little bit stupid, too. Harold loves this part of the show. Gives him a head rush. Starts his afternoon off right. I'll tell you what. I think I owe Harold one sip of his favorite drink, that sunflower seed punch. From his bust his little bird friend on the floor down there. Come here, pal, let's get you a bottle of sunflower seed punch. Here it is. It is pretty strong. Harold knows he only should take one sip because he's got a lot of shows left to do. Since he is well trained. Hey, buddy, I said you were well trained. You okay, Harold? Come here, why don't you give me the bottle, pal? There you go. Yeah. Are you okay? You sure you okay? You feeling okay? You took more than one sip. I hope you you're supposed to do a headstand. You're going to be able to do a headstand now for us? Okay. I'll believe you. Come on, pal. Switch hands here for me. Okay, okay. Here we go. Hop on down there, buddy. You're off and running. You're going to do a headstand for us. Here he goes. He's up. And he's out cold. Hey, pal, I thought you were okay. Come on up here and talk to me. Are you okay? Okay, one more try. Hop on down there. You're supposed to do an impression of your favorite singer for us. Hop on up there. Let's see if you can do that, right? Posing for pictures, of course. There he goes. Anybody guess who that is? Does it look like Stevie Wonder or what? That's Stevie Wonder on roller skates. How about a big headstand, Harold, to go with it? There you go. Another big headstand. Come on up here, pal. Now, Harold's favorite sport's not bicycle riding, nor is it roller skating. It's actually basketball. So we made him a blue bird-sized backboard, and here's the beak-sized basketball. Ready to see a bird play basketball? Yeah. Okay, here's the tip-off. There's the hustle. Let's make some noise and cheer Harold on. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, pal. That's traveling. Okay, there's dribbling. Dribbling bird style for you. Now, how about up for the shot? Ooh, it's a fake. Up for the shot. There it is, a slam dunk. That's two points. That's my very own Larry Bird. It's a bad joke. Harold doesn't even like that one. I'll tell you what, Harold has one last impression before. That's the telephone. I wonder who that could be. Probably my girlfriend, Tina. She loves to call me. Hey, buddy, why don't you answer and tell us who it is? Hey, pal, who is it? Hi, Tina. Yeah, it's my girlfriend, Tina, all right. Here you go, pal. Why don't you hang up on Tina? We'll give her a call back after the show. There you go. Now, like I said, Harold has one last impression before he goes. It's the Anheuser-Busch Eagle. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to do it, Harold? Yeah, then here it is. The Anheuser-Busch Eagle. Okay, how about a dead eagle? That's Harold's show. A big hand for Harold. Now it's time to get serious and talk about this big blue bird here in the back. He's a 17-year-old hyacinth macaw. He's the largest and rarest of all the citizen birds. The hyacinths make their native homeland in the Brazilian rainforest. The sad part is that the alarming rate the rainforest is being destroyed, the hyacinths will soon be extinct. They're now Appendix 1 on the endangered species list. They believe there's roughly 500 of these birds left in the wild. 
When domestically raised, like all of our birds here at Feather Follies are, this bird can cost up to $15,000. And he's well worth it. His name's Rio. Can you say hello? Hello. Hey, who's your best buddy? Harold. Harold? Harold's his best buddy. Hey, Harold, this your best buddy over here? Yeah, my best buddy, all right. Now, Harold taught Rio a few tricks. Yeah, he did you a few tricks. He did you to bark like a dog. How about bark like a dog? Yep, yep. Can you bark like a dog? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Is that your girlfriend? Quack, quack. That's his girlfriend, a duck. Quack, quack. Did you see her fly over? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Okay, just check in. Yeah, he can bark like a dog, though. How about barking like a dog? Okay, how about little dog? Bark, bark, bark. Little dog? That little dog? That's a little dog. There you go. Big and little dog. Behind Rio's beak is approximately 1,100 pounds of pressure. That's enough pressure if he wanted to during a show. He could feasibly reach down and either rip my fingers from my hand or break my arm in half. Right, buddy? How about a big kiss on the lips, pal? There you go. He's also our weather bird. He loves to tell us what the weather is all across our beautiful nation. His favorite place is Alaska. Hey, is it pretty cold? Quack, quack. quack, quack. Is it pretty cold in Alaska? There's no ducks up there, right? They're pretty cold, right? Brr. Pretty cold? Brr. There you go. Brr. Pretty cold. Is it pretty cold? Brr. Okay. A big hand for a very, very rare bird. Hop on up there, buddy. Now, have I got a treat for you. She's 22 years old. She's a yellow nape from the Amazon. She's one of the nation's best laughing, talking, and singing birds. It's my favorite little green girl. Right? Yeah, yeah of course. Why don't you hop on over here? Let's change hands for me, kid. Hello. 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 Are you stuck in a rut? Yeah. Okay, nothing to worry about. <laughs> you nervous? You a little nervous there today? <laughs> okay. Well, hi. What the hell is it? Trying to do a bird show. Yeah. Oh, of course. You with me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how are you? Pretty bird. Oh, yes, you are. Pretty bird. <laughs> oh, good looking, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Can you tell us what's your name? Yeah. How about tell us your name? Lolita. Oh, what's your name? Lolita. Lolita? Is that a pretty name? Yeah. Yes, you're good looking too, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Good looking. Yeah, you know it. Miss Modesty, right here. Oh, of course. Now, Lolita loves to do impressions like all the birds in the show. Her first impression is pretty scary, right? Yeah. Her first impression is a ghost. Can you do a ghost? Oh, is that a ghost? That's a pretty scary ghost. Oh. Yeah. But I have a feeling, if Lolita ever did see a ghost, she'd probably fly ow, away. Ow. They'd fly away screaming, ow, right? Ow. Yeah. Probably screaming something like, oh no! Scream, oh no! Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Yeah, you're a scaredy cat, right? Meow. Meow. Now wait a minute. I thought you laughed at danger. You laugh at danger? Ow. A ghost! Ow. Just kidding. Yeah, he. Yeah, it took me all day to have a cat inside a parrot suit. Oh, you like that joke? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good to have a laughing bird. You tell bad jokes. Thanks, kid. Yeah. Now, Martha, I mean, whoops, sorry. Lolita also loves to sing, right? Yeah. yeah. You heard her sing your name? Lolita! So sometimes we go to the Italian show where she warms up with them, and she sings her favorite song, right? Yeah. Okay, let's warm up. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Am I in tune? Yeah. Okay. How about singing your favorite song? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a I've got this beautiful feeling. Everything all in my life. I had to sing a bird for you. The one only Lolita. Anything you want to say before you go? Bye. 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 Let me say bye-bye to Lolita. And now look out, because out there somewhere is my free flying bird. Her name's Pee Here she is. She's a 19-year-old military macaw, named with a military green color. Like Harold over here, Pee a native of Mexico. Hey, Pee who's your boyfriend? Harold. Who's your boyfriend? Harold. Harold. Hey, pal, this your girlfriend? Yeah, my girlfriend, all right. Sure this is your girlfriend? <laughs> kind of indifferent today. Tell you what, mwah. I need one great volunteer from the audience for this next trick. How about you write down the Leonardo shirt? Give him a big hand as he walks down. There you go. Come on up here and join us center stage. Why don't you step out here in the light so we can all get a good look at you. Hi there. What's your name? Wade. Wade, what state are you from? Hawaii. Hawaii? Anybody from Hawaii today? <laughs> 
Everybody not from Hawaii? Okay. You having a good time in the park? Yes. Have you been kissed by a giant parrot? No. Well, guess what? Today's your lucky day. Are you scared? No. You should be. You see Phoebe's beak right here? Behind her beak's enough pressure that if she wanted to, she could rip the teeth out of your head one by one. You scared now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd be scared too. Nothing too much. You feed her a seed, make friends with her. See the seed right there? Give it to her. There you go. Take a half step forward over this way for me. Okay. Don't back away from her. Whatever you do, stand perfectly still. But most importantly, don't let her see your teeth, okay? <laughs> She'll rip them right out of there. Here she comes. A big kiss for you. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Have a great day in the park. <laughs> Now it's time to send out the mail like with every day at the bird show. This letter is going to our free flying feathered friends in Florida. And what do you know? There's the mailbox on top of cheap seats. Here's our mail carrier, Fifi. Go for it, girl. Drop in the slot and don't forget the flag. Come on home. Now I need two brave volunteers for this next and final trick. Okay, how about you right there? Can you grab the yellow hula hoop for me? You in the yellow shorts? Grab the yellow hula hoop and stand on top of the gold feet for me. Okay. Okay, how about you up there in the white t-shirt and the blue shorts, the blonde hair? Come on down and grab the yellow hula hoop for me. Okay, stand on top of the gold feet. Okay, this is the last and final trick of the show, and it makes me a little bit nervous, because as you've seen two times, this is a free-flying bird, an outdoor theater. Anytime she wants to, and occasionally she likes to, especially right about now, because it's lunchtime for her. She likes to fly right over to the fest house to pick up her a slice of pizza. All right, kid? Okay, Phoebe's going to fly. Hold it way above your head for me. Got both hands above your head. She's going to fly. Turn up the stairway. Through the first yellow hula hoop. Across the middle section. Missing your heads by inches. Make sure you're facing this way, okay? Face that way. Okay, through the second yellow hula hoop. Missing your heads by inches. She comes all the way down through landing here on my right shoulder. While Phoebe's in flight, I have to ask you please remain seated. Her wingspan's about four feet. Just a quick reminder, when she's flying overhead and you're looking up to watch her go over, <laughs> keep your mouth closed. It could be a pretty tasteless joke. Okay, is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Go for it, girl. Gentlemen, the real Anheuser Busch Eagle. I hope you enjoy the show as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. Have a great day here at Busch Gardens, the old country.